Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our project title is to relay or not to relay learning device to device relaying strategies in cellular networks Abstract we consider a cellular network where mobile transceiver devices that are owned by self interested users are incentivized to cooperate with each other using tokens which they exchange electronically to buy and sell downlink down relay services thereby increasing the network capacity compared to a network that only supported day station device to device communication we investigate how an individual device in the network can learn its optimal cooperation policy online which it uses to decide whether or not to provide downlink relay service for other devices in exchange for tokens we propose an algorithm that devices can deploy to learn their optimal cooperation strategies online given their experienced network environment we then systematically evaluate the algorithm in various deployed scenarios our simulation results suggest that devices have the greatest incentive to cooperate when the network contains many devices with high energy budgets for relaying many highly mobile users and neighbors too few nor too many tokens additionally within the token system self interested device can effectively learn to cooperate online and achieve up to 20 percentage through good gains and average compared to b2d communication alone all while selfishly maximizing their own utilities let us see the proof of our project in our project we have to implement ofdm based network model OFDM based network model is nothing but the network which have the user equipment models such as the pico cells macro cell all the nodes are connected via base station so in our project uh, in ue model we have to implement token holding state and relay relay budget state in token holding state time slot manner is implemented and the relay budget state is calculated by using the energy level if the node which is act as the highest energy is act as a relay node in our project we have to implement two uh, states of relay node selection first one is act as a relay node and second one is use as a relay node in act as a relay node in a, a node is uh, selected based upon the energy and use as a relay node the neighbor node which is interested for sending the information is taken as a relay node uh, after that we have to implement this optimal policy generation using the threshold value if all these are all implemented we have to uh, data exchange using transmission control protocol else we have to analyze that process firstly in that uh, token holding state then our project is analyzed by using uh, the existing system so in our project we have to implement the throughput and the energy efficient relay node selection strategy let us see the output of our project for running our project we have to open the vmware workstation in that uh, type uh, get the terminal window it is in bottom of the window so click on it so in that we have to change directory to our uh, coding folder for that we have to type cd space code this folder contains our our uh, codings so this uh, then type ns space main dot tcl so this is for running our tcl file so the process will started and it will produce the energy level and the nodes node information that is routing table information are displayed here this will produce one output window called the nam window this is our nam window which contains a, a network environment that is ofdm based network model when we click on this play forward button it will works so we have to speed up this process so now our ofdm based network model is deployed so in our project uh, uh many more uh, user equipment model are there 
so now network is deployed so all nodes are considered as a ue models so this node 2 is act as a base station and uh, all other nodes which is colored at um, yellow yellow is uh, act as a relay node this is the concept of act as a relay node so each colors denotes the each group of the user equipments that is one for pico cell and another for macro cells so this is for data transmission that is data exchange phase when uh, the node uh, 12 wants to send the data to the base station it sends the uh, information via the relay node so now this node is act as a relay node so now the data is transformed using the TCP protocol so uh, in this phase this node 6 is act as a use as a relay node because this is not a relay node which is selected first so this is a uh, shortest distance so it is selected as a relay node and sends the information to another relay node then it after that uh, finally it sends the information to the base station so in that concept we have to implement both act as a relay node as well as use as a relay node So for this is for our first uh, output result of a net running window. There is animated window. For running our simulation process, we have to run our lab using. So GNU plot is used for running our graph file. So for that purpose, we have to type GNU plot space pdr dot plot. So this uh, PDR uh, plot is uh, uh, shows our process and the existing process. So our process is uh, greater achieve uh, delivery ratio 85% than the existing system. Thank you for watching.